So guys, welcome to your 21st After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use something called uh, the invert effect of a mat. And also how to play around with the contrast of your mat to make it just how you want it. Now, in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how you can use just simple uh, like black and white images or black and white text. But I didn't tell you guys that you can actually use any picture you want to create a mat. So, for example, you can have uh, this picture of a flower right here. And what this does is the same thing as the last time, but it takes all these uh, uh, black and whites and shades of gray to create a map. So let's go ahead and in the last tutorial I showed you guys how to make a basic mat like this. But now I want to show you guys that you can also make an invert mat by going down here and press Luma Inverted Mat. And what this does is instead of only showing what's inside the flower, it shows what's outside the flower. So just like masking, you can also do inverts of mat to instead of just only showing what's inside, show what's outside. Now for uh, what I'm going to do next, I want to show you guys just regular, uh, the regular mat without the invert. So anytime uh, you're looking at this mat, and this is a flower in this case, you see that you see the shades of gray right here, and some are black, some are white, some are see-through. But you're saying, all right. I want this flower, but I don't want to have this black right here, or I want the little details to stand out more. What do I do to do that? Well, anytime you want to work with uh, the contrast of the mat, what you need to do is select your mat right there. And you can either have this eyeball checked to show the full picture or unchecked to show the mat. And, but more importantly, make sure your uh, layer is selected and go to effects and then you need to go to color correction and then after color correction you need to go to levels and this will give you the gray levels of your mat the two arrows you want to be working with the most are this arrow right here this black one this is the gray one you don't want to use that a whole lot and this white one right here so again this black one and this gray one what the black one does when you move this is it takes all of the dark gray I mean uh, pixels and moves them into black so this brings out the detail more as you can see in my picture all of the black lines are getting darker and it's just showing the detail more so anytime you want to show more detail in your mat just slide this and anytime you want to show less detail what this white little triangle does is take uh, the light gray pixels and change them all completely to white so if you move it, you see all those black pixels slowly change to white. So this gives you a more basic outline. So now you can see if I move it almost all the way, none of the black pixels or no detail is showing, just a huge outline. So if I want to, um, say, add a little more detail, then I want to take this black slider and change all my dark gray pixels to black. And this brings out the black contrast of your map. So um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I just want to show you guys how to use the invert effect and also how to use the contrast of the mat to get your mat just how you like it. So uh, thank you for watching. In my next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you more cool stuff that you can do with mats. But for now, that's that. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.